Hey everyone, this is Mason from FilterGrade. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a cinematic look for your photos in Photoshop. The exact definition of a cinematic look is up to debate, but this tutorial will show you how to make your image look like it could be a still from a movie. This technique revolves around blending modes and changes the highlights and shadows to complement each other. Of course, you'll also want your original image to look good. This technique looks great on portraits and pictures of older things. We'll be covering two methods here, one that's super quick and simple, and one that's more complex but will produce a better result. Here's the easy method. Start by bringing your image into Photoshop. Then create a solid color layer via the effects panel. We can change the color later, so don't worry about what color it is for now. Then change the blending mode to exclusion. This will put the color from that solid color layer into the shadows and automatically puts a complementary color into the highlights. Your image probably looks pretty weird at this point, so the next step is to reduce the opacity to about 30%. This will bring down the intensity of the color. Play around with the opacity until it feels natural to you. To change the color, just double click on the color on the adjustment layer in the layers panel. Using this method, it's generally best to go with a cooler color. This will result in cool shadows and warm highlights. Here's a more complex method you can use. Bring in your image and duplicate it onto a new layer. This is so you can always have your original image to go back to. We'll be working with the duplicate layer here. Start by going into Image, Adjustments, Shadows slash Highlights. You'll be adjusting the shadows and highlights accordingly, mostly lightening some of the shadows. Next up is to sharpen the image. Go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. These are the recommended settings, but you may need to adjust them. Specifically, if you are working with a small resolution image, you may need to turn down the radius. Now we'll be adding some adjustment layers. Create a curves adjustment layer and create a curve that adds a bit of contrast between highlights and shadows. Now add another curves adjustment layer and darken the midtones. Then we'll add a brightness slash contrast adjustment layer and set the brightness to plus 10 and contrast to around minus 15. Next, add a Vibrance Adjustment layer. Set Vibrance to plus 10 and Saturation to minus 15. This will slightly desaturate the image, which will help give it a cinematic look. Now go and add a Photo Filter Adjustment layer. You can use the Warming Filter 85 preset and set it to around 35% density. For our last step, add a Gradient Fill Adjustment layer. Make sure that Black is set as your foreground color and choose the Black to Transparent gradient, set it to Radial, angle to 90% and adjust the scale to about 200%. You'll also probably have to reverse the effect. This will create a vignette effect, change the blend mode to soft light and the opacity to around 60% for the best look. The end result should be something that looks pretty cinematic, an orange tone on an image with increased sharpness and more dramatic shadows and contrast. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.